Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back for another mod installation tutorial video. Today we will be installing the wonderful whims for Sims 4. And if you're new here, I do like to explain the mod download and installation process as if you have never downloaded and installed a mod before in your life. I try to make it very straightforward so that people of all experience levels can successfully use mods. So if for some reason something isn't clear or straightforward, please let me know in the comments so that I can improve in the future. All right, let's get started. Very first thing we'll do is open up our web browser so that we can search for the wonderful whims mod type in wonderful whims sims 4 enter and it should be this very first result however just always double check and make sure that the url is correct so that you know you're getting it from the appropriate site it'll be this wonderfulwhims.com website and just click on this link and it'll take you to the main page with this big red download button which makes it seem like it should be simple enough However, when we click on the download button, it seems a bit intimidating because there are several sources from which you can get the mod. I have gone through each of these to see which one's the simplest to use, and by far the itch.io download is the simplest in my opinion. So that's the one I'm going to show you today. If you look around, you'll see right towards the middle of the page, there's a Thing that says download is located at the bottom of this page. If you click that download, it's actually a hyperlink and it takes you to the bottom of the page. So what you'll want to do is click on this first one. It is the most up-to-date version. However, some people may have a reason for downloading the older one. We're just going to do the newest one. And it'll look like this and you're like, ah, did it download? Yeah, it did. It'll pop up right over here, or if you're using, I think, Internet Explorer, it pops up in the bottom. But regardless of whatever browser you're using, you can always find them in your file explorer. So if for some reason you don't know how to get here or get to your downloads in Explorer, you can always go to your file explorer down on your taskbar right here. It'll be this little manila folder looking thing. So we'll pop that open. And it should look something like this. On the left side, you'll have your quick access or things that you usually use. If you don't see it, just search around until you find something that says downloads. And when you click on it, you can see the things that you have downloaded recently. Now that you're in your downloads, you should see towards the top your most recent downloads. So you'll want to look for a wonderful whims folder. Right here is where mine is. There are two because I downloaded it two separate times already, but you should just have one. And so you'll see that it has a little zipper on it, whereas some of the other ones don't have zippers on it. That means that we have to do something a little bit different to unzip this folder and get it ready for use, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. To unzip this, you'll want to right click on it and find this extract all option and go ahead and click on it. It'll bring up this page that says files will be extracted to this folder. You don't have to change this. It'll just plop the folder right into where we already are. So go ahead and hit extract. And there it is. You'll notice that there's no longer this zipper on it and instead it's just this file folder. So we've unzipped it, but now we have to actually go and install it, basically. So what we have to do is move this unzipped folder to our mods folder to properly install it. So what I want you to do is right click on this unzipped folder and copy. You can also accomplish this by highlighting the file you want and hitting control C on your keyboard. Now we'll have to navigate to our mods folder and mine you can see is under quick access because I use it a lot, but yours won't be. You'll have to go through and find it by finding your documents and then you'll want to go through and find electronic arts, the Sims 4, 
and then there's your mods folder. So you'll click on that. Now you're inside your Sims 4 mods folder and this is where we want to paste our Wonderful Whims folder. So you'll right click and hit paste, which will just drop this Wonderful Whims folder right into your mods folder. Now for this particular mod, you're finished. You have successfully installed it. If you are installing a different mod, you may have to do a couple extra steps. I do have some tutorials that include those extra steps. Essentially, it's just making sure that when you go into the folder, there aren't additional folders where the mod files are inside of those or inside of several different folders. Because if there are several folders deep, your computer actually won't be able to locate the mods properly. But in this case, we're good. We have successfully installed Wonderful Whims. Way to go, good job. Before I let you out of here, I do want you to follow a couple more steps to ensure that your game does actually recognize that you have installed mods and it actually lets you use the mods. So go ahead and open up your game. Now I really wanna stress the importance of this step. Even if you have used mods before, even for future mod downloads, this step is very important. I think people overlook it if they have a little bit of experience with mods because they assume that they've already completed this step and don't ever have to do it again. Unfortunately, you do have to do this every time you update your game. You will have to go into your options within the game and enable mods. It's a very simple thing that gets overlooked a lot. If you're having issues, just do this step. Make sure that it is turned on. So we'll go to options when we first open our game. Go to game options and find the tab that says other. Now you'll see that my enable custom content in mods box is not checked. That's because I just updated my game. It unchecks every time you update your game. You'll also want to make sure that this grip mods allowed is checked as well. And then once you have both of these options checked with that little green check mark, you'll hit apply changes and you will need to restart your game for the changes to take effect. So now that we have downloaded, installed, and enabled this mod and restarted our game, load into your household. You may get a pop-up that says you have an outdated version of Wonderful Whims. I just got that too, even though we downloaded the most up-to-date version here in September 2024. Don't worry about it. Close out of it. You don't have to update anything new. Um, but if you want to make sure that your game or your mod still works, um, go ahead and go down to this phone icon down here. And if you see the little heart icon that says wonderful when you hover over it, that's kind of the easiest way I know to make sure that your mod is properly installed. So now that it is installed and it's working fine, go wild. Um, if it isn't going fine, please let me know down below in the comments. And happy women, I suppose. That was really dumb. Sorry. Have a good night. Bye.